Hi, the last thing I wanna provide some guidance on is the last set of questions here on projectile motion. Um, so it'd be helpful maybe if you're doing this practice test to get out your toolkit as well on the last page of your toolkit. Remember we did this together last week. Okay, so first thing, um, what is the height of Sherry's apartment building? So this, let's actually say initial height. So initial height means there's a time of zero. So you're gonna take your equation and the time is gonna be zero. That's what you're plugging in for T. Um, that can also be seen if we look on your toolkit, um, question B on your toolkit, what is the height um, of the diving board? So if we're looking at the parabola in terms of this, this would be the building that Sherry is launching a rocket from. So this would be our initial height, okay? So I would look at toolkit, um, page six, and you're looking at question number B, okay? Um, so what is the initial height? So you can see an example of how we're doing that here. We're plugging in zero for time. Okay, that's our y-intercept. Um, now the next question, how long will it take for the rocket to reach its maximum height? So that would be question C. Um, question C was, what is the maximum height? And this is actually asking for us to figure out how much time. So if you notice in this question, on question C in our toolkit on this page, um, we figure out time by figuring out the, um, the axis of symmetry, essentially, the equation for the axis of symmetry. So we wanna do negative B over 2A, which is what we did here. Then once we figured out the time, so that would be this question here, question C on our toolkit. So toolkit page six, this is question number C. Sorry, if this is confusing. That doesn't mean the answer is number C. Um, this is the, kind of the first part of it. So you wanna figure out time equals, and then the maximum height will be what you get when you plug that in. So this is also question number C from the toolkit. Okay, how long will it take for the rocket to land on the ground? So if we're landing on the ground, we're essentially setting the height equal to zero. So on your toolkit, let's look at this toolkit. Um, it's actually question E. Find the time it will take Joey to reach the water or to reach the ground or, or some height of zero essentially is what we're looking at. So you're gonna wanna use the quadratic formula for this question. Um, for some questions, you might be able to factor them, but I would say using quadratic formula, you're going to be able to use that every single time. Okay. And then our last question, how high will the rocket be after one second? So if we look back at our toolkit, um, what is Joey's height after one second? So we're using the same process that we did for this question um, by plugging in one for our time. Okay. So that would be question D on the toolkit. And please join us for office hours um, for algebra if you have questions before, especially on this practice test before taking the test on Friday.